all right people I welcome you back again once again to the update appreciate you guys for stopping by and i would like you to pay close attention to this information and before i release this video i want to say congratulations to every subscribers because this is a welcome development so guys pay close attention to this update and make sure you subscribe to the update and share this video as well tell your friends about this channel and appreciate you guys for stopping by and bye for now that which is been expected that the uaag grant the theobard grant the uh, supreme grant and also the st rita midwest improvement foundation grant i greet you once again all subscribers in nigeria and diaspora especially to all the ceos and subscribers of uaag uh, Sanctuary World Foundation. Uh, I must confess that we have all tried, having waited this far, but ever still, your night is about to be over. Uh, night speaks of darkness, but for some individual, it speaks of light. <laughs> Uh, like the Bible puts it, say, give not sleep to your eyes, else thou come to poverty. The time you wake up, it's your daylight. All right. So uh, there are some animals that are nocturnals that see well quite at at, in the night. You know, so night is not altogether a moment of darkness. So for those who trust in the process and who believe in their God, even this time that looks like a dark moment, is a time of light for them because they shall be strong and they shall do exploit so but whatever appears to be like your night in all of this waiting season it's about to be ended i must promise you that it's about to be over there is a saying that uh the chain is strongest at its weakest link let me take that again every chain is strongest at its weakest link what that means is that uh, if you have for instance if you have uh, a rubber band and you stretch it you stretch it and stretch it it will get to it will keep stretching until it gets to a point where it gets to an elastic limit and since it can't stretch any further it breaks you understand now every problem has an expiry period or let me say an expiry date it could stretch you and stretch you and stretch you but it will come to a point where after the stretching could no longer stretch any further it breaks you right into your heaven of rest and that's exactly what all these grants is all about they have stretched a lot of people and it's going to stretch you eventually into your graces it will stretch you finally into your open heavens because we are climbing that stairs now where there is an elastic limit and about to be broken all right so your day is about to be celebrated your night is about to be ended and many people will soon begin to say to you good morning <laughs> they will soon begin to testify about what has happened to you because they wouldn't know you anymore was that not that man that used to see that the gate called beautiful what happened to him no a miracle had happened was that not that guy that was in expectation for uag grant what had happened to him see him now he has changed this is not how you look is because money hasn't arrived by the time it comes it will change everything around you it will change your name it will change your status it will change your surroundings all right so i want to believe that your day is about to break and those who knew you before they begin to debate eh? <laughs> real prosperity is debatable let me put it that way real prosperity when people has not started debating about your your wealth or your prosperity it is not real prosperity they begin to say, oh, it is not, is it not that same person? What has happened? Oh, is it not that same woman? Oh, what has happened? 
eventually they will say well to his lord his god has remembered him all right my time to is coming oh you know so based on what happens to people that god has given the privilege to change god has changed their raiment changed their garment people begin to say all right because of the successes they have seen around them they begin to also tap into that success and say well my god too that remember the god that remembered you would also remember me and that would be your testimony where people can tap into what the lord has done in your life to also climb on that pinnacle and be able to have faith and have confidence and say well we waited and finally it came through we waited for it and it came through you know so that's exactly what's going to happen while we are in expectation of this uh grant your morning is here all right so uh, i just want us to begin to pray more for uh, the country director apostle ken wakama for god's divine protection and also preservation on him you know sometimes when certain things happen to certain people especially the set men the bible says strike the shepherd and the sheep was scattered in this in this um in this uh, regard now he is the country director and he is the set man here so all target is going to be against him but the world of darkness both people that are, are are hateful of the status why should it be him to get grant why shouldn't it not be me it could have been somebody better possibly this money would have come out you know a whole lot of things uh, 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 if you are, if you are going to be a leader Mm? you cannot be selling ice cream <laughs> but if you want to be the leader that sells ice cream everybody will love you but if you must tell the truth and follow the real line and the detail as it's supposed to be you don't sell ice cream you just have to call a spade a spade and in calling a spade a spade sometimes you may have to step on toes sometimes you may have to make some people feel unhappy sometimes you might have to make some other persons feel un very happy but if everybody have to be happy at the same time you are selling ice cream you might not be a leader because the truth in itself does not make people to smile at all times there are times of spanking at the butt there are times of rubbing your back there are times of saying it exactly as it is all of these are the paraphernalia they are all engulfed in the characteristics of leadership so i believe that the country director needs our prayer now more often than not the more it appears like it's not uh, uh, looking green the more he needs our prayers you understand so pray for the country director pray for the ngos and the ceos pray also for yourself especially for long life to be able to enjoy that which is coming for you you will not die in the middle of your expectations the same uh, uh grant or the same expectations that you put your mind on it will not cripple you before it comes your expectation will not cripple you before the the same money comes out in the name of jesus christ so ensure to commit yourself and others in the hands of god and the lord will guide you on how to judiciously and manage this world by the time it finally comes the bible says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get it and with all thy gettings ensure that you also get understanding so every one of us needs wisdom to go about this in the in, in the meantime i celebrate you all the ceos in the house i celebrate you i doff my cap for you all the grand handlers in the house i celebrate you i doff my cap for you all the expectant beneficiaries you, you, you know the most important aspect of this is that both the ceos including the country director we are all beneficiaries <laughs> we are all stakeholders in this business and we are all expectant beneficiaries so uh, for you having waited this long i doff my cup for you it's just about to break so the good news is that it's just about to break so i celebrate your tenacity to hold on in spite of all odds i celebrate you i celebrate you i celebrate you <laughs>